Good morning. This is Bob speaking to you from my farmette in the Annapolis Valley of Nova Scotia. This is part nine of my blue nose build from scratch. I keep saying that, I know. I'm probably boring you here. Uh, I, I, you can see I have the hull pretty much done, pretty much planked, and the deck. The deck's planked there. Uh, I had no idea that this project was going to take this long. I've been six months into this. I've kept a little uh, tally on the uh, wall of my workshop how many hours I, I put into this. And, and believe it or not, it's about 22 hours. That's, that's with cutting the wood, uh, you know, shaping it, getting it in place. Uh, the planking actually took the majority of that time, so uh, I, I've got to speed up here. I can't, uh, I, I, I can't keep doing these. Uh, or, or I could, but I just, I just don't want to keep doing these. So I'm, uh, as I say, I'm going to, I'm going to do it a, a, a lot faster. I'm going to put part A, B, and C, I think C into video nine. And I've decided that, you know, there, there comes a time when you have to say enough is enough and get on with it and I'm going to spray it and paint it uh, in, in this video. Uh, i got to keep in mind that this isn't a piece of porcelain or bone china. This, this is wood. And it's wood that, uh, that I've cut myself and shaped myself, and I've got to stop worrying about the imperfections. My God, if you looked at the, the Blue Nose 2 rebuild, <laughs> this, this isn't that bad. That, 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 I think that, that boat is, is uh, able to sail now, though. But I guess it's been quite a challenge for them as well. So, what I'm going to do uh, before I. Well when I come back. Uh, I'll have the uh, the deck masked off because I'm going to, as I say, I'm going to spray it and I don't want overspray onto the deck. So I think I'll leave the deck uh, the way it is. It's, it's not that bad. Uh, originally I was going to paint it out, paint it out gray because I think that's the way the blue nose really is. But I, I like that and, and uh, there's not that much uh, wood filler in it, so it, it should stay pretty much like that. Uh, i just let you have a look here. Maybe I can get it even a bit closer for you. I'm, I'm not sure, but uh, what, what are you looking at? Oh yeah, um, you see the dark parts of the hull? That's actually body fill. Uh, not body fill. It's crack filler, or, you know, wood filler. It's not thick. It's just thin, kind of a skim coat. Uh, but there are still voids in the wood, and they defy filling. I, I have filled them a number of times, and it just doesn't work. I, I don't know why, uh, but it doesn't. Uh, the uh, the wood filler was actually much closer in color to the to the uh, to the cedar, but it it reacted with a, a surface coat of uh, marine epoxy that I put on there, and uh, the epoxy as it was drying created heat and it actually bubbled, and I got little air holes and by gosh, you you can't feel those doggone things so that's it. No, I'm going to paint it. I don't care. I was going to put another coat of the epoxy on there with a little bit of a thickener in the epoxy, some some fiberglass, but I, I think it's okay. Oh, I didn't know if you noticed or not, but my keel down here at the bottom, that's epoxy and fiberglass. Remember I said early on that I couldn't uh, put that rabbit in? Well, that's what I had to put in. That's what I had to put in because I didn't put that rabbit in. You know, you got to follow the directions. Uh, I guess maybe uh, structure 
wasn't really the issue. Uh, I shouldn't have worried about the fact that I could wiggle the keel after I put the rabbit in. Uh, it, it would have gotten solid as I glued the, the planking on. But live and learn. Uh, so I guess that's about all I can say about it. It's uh, the, the the method I, that I showed you last time. It worked almost all the way up, and then uh, right at the end I had to do some inventive clamping, but uh, nothing that you guys want to want to really hear about. So when I come back, it'll be part B uh, of number nine. I'm going to have this masked off and ready to paint. So if you don't choose to watch that, uh, thank you for tuning in, and you guys have a good day. Bye-bye. Hi, I'm back again. Now, this is part B of, of video 9. Uh, I got a tape there, I showed you that, and I sprayed the red on. You can really see the voids in the wood. I don't care. Uh, if you saw the, the blue nose too, uh, you'd see more voids than, than there are in there. Uh, the next part is particularly difficult because if you look at the blue nose in the water, you don't see the red, except a little bit back here, right on the stern. And uh, the color actually does a nice little curl there. You change colors at the water line. And I'm going to show you the diagram. I don't know if this is doing any good or not, but this is what I'm following. See it? See right here, it has. L W L. That's the load water line. And if you followed this all the way along, that line goes the full length of the ship. Uh, goes goes along here, and then when it comes to the back, it curls around into a oh gosh, almost like an arrowhead. It's it's kind of neat. Uh, it, it's yeah, it's a good picture of the blue nose from the back. So I think I better let the the paint dry a little bit more. Uh, I'm afraid that if I if I don't and I and I tape the water line and all of the red below, when I take the tape off, it might take the paint with it. And that's not real high quality paint. All that is is is, is the automotive rust paint. You know, you, that you see old cars painted with uh, people thinking that that's going to be, be okay and stop the rust. Uh, I had lots of that stuff on hand, so I decided I'd use it. Uh, so I'll, I'll come back and uh, in a little bit, and I'm going to call uh, the next part, Part C, and Part C will show you the, uh, the masking, maybe of the water line or it be masking below the water line and uh, the actual paint on the, the upper part the part that you see I'm going to use a flat black on it and then try to shine it up with Krylon I'm not worrying about the boards up here because most of them are black the rails in the bow here, those top rails. I think this one's called the buffalo rail. This one back here is called the called the, the monkey rail. They are white, but I'll paint those in after I get the rest of it done. Okay. If you don't come back, thanks for watching. Good day. This is Bob speaking to you from my farm at in the Annapolis Valley of Nova Scotia. Today is going to be uh, part C of, uh, of part 9 of my blue nose build from scratch. Today I'm going to subtitle this, this section The Painting Reveal. I'll show you what I've got here. This is the blue nose. And uh, see, I've got it all taped up. I've got paint all over it, and I don't know 
how that tape's going to come off. I'm not going to take it off the top yet because I've got, I still got stuff to do. But uh, and there, I just noticed that I didn't get that completely covered. But anyway, I'm going to take the tape off and just just see what this looks like. Uh, I haven't done this before, so I don't really know uh, what's going on. Down here, of course, is red. This part up here is black. And in the middle, I've got a strip of kind of an off-white. I, I, uh, I use a variety of paints. Uh, the black is stove paint. The red is uh, rust paint, you know, that you, you paint cars with. And uh, the little strip of white is uh, what you use to uh, paint your propane tanks when they start to rust. So. Uh, and God knows how this is going to turn out. Anyway, uh, I'll start to peel it off and, and hope I come up with something halfway decent. I uh, don't know exactly where to start. I can't remember how I put it on. If I could take it off in reverse order, that would be the way to do it. Oops. i to expose that. I don't want to expose the, this part, the top part here. Okay, there you can see the black is showing. That doesn't look too bad. Okay, here we go. Gonna, oops. Not really a way to do this. But anyway. Okay, that's folded over there. Alright, peel it back. Well, there's no, no paint coming off with it yet. Yeah, there's a little bit. Ah, stones. Not too bad though. That's right on the edge. Oh, that's coming off better than I thought it was going. Okay, this, this green tape, you know, it's the stuff that you're supposed to use for painting. And my gosh, that came off pretty good. Alright, now this part, uh, I, think I, I think I ended over here. There we go. Oh, there's some, there's some black paint coming off. Shoot. Oh, I'm going to keep going. You know, regardless of how this turns out, this is it. We're not going to do any more. Oh. So I've got to get this done. Right? Now, I'm getting down to the to the literal the little line. So I'm gonna start this here. No you can't see that but uh, shoot. There. Okay, I'll bring it back up again. Ooh dog. It's not really doing what it's supposed to do. can't take that piece off yet. Shoot. It's that piece right there. It's got to come off. Right there. Okay, that's not bad. That's better than I thought it was going to be. Oh, man. It's sticky. Ah, I didn't think that stuff was supposed to be sticky. You know, I thought it was supposed to peel right off easy, but maybe it all. Easy, 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 easy. Panic here, guys. It's kind of hold your breath. Yeah, I see. You can see the little line. Now, where do I start here? It's covered right here. Oh, look, you can see the red. Can you see that? Hmm? See the red starting to show? I can't really get it up there for you. It's uh, I don't know, where's the next one? Ooh, it's up on this end. Whoops, i got to be careful. Oh, yeah, that's good. Come on. It's going to start over here. And peel it this way. Uh oh, the line disappeared. Shoot. I 
didn't really spray it enough. failure there. I don't know if, how much of this uh, painting reveal was actually shown. I, I didn't go back to look. Uh, I'm going to finish it now anyway. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty happy, I guess, with, with, what, with what happened there. Uh, there, there the pit, the, except for the top. Of course, I didn't take that off. But the... Uh, I had a couple of failures. There's one here, you can see that, where that line is broken. And uh, it's a little ratty on the edges there. And on the bottom, I had a smudge, a smear. I guess the paint really hadn't dried. I was a little too anxious to get at it. Um, yeah, I can see it now that, that it's really it's really shiny. It's not, it, it's not dry, for heaven's sake. Uh, and, and it's been over 24 hours and, and right here the line disappeared I guess I didn't get the tape just just right on there I thought I had it pretty good um, I can see a lot of bumps and nicks and things in, in the in the red in, in particular but I'm not going to change anything on it now I'm going to shine that and uh, I will try to tidy up the smear and the broken line, but that's it. Uh, once I shine it up, and I'll make a little stand for it, and then I'll start to make the little uh, bits and bobs that, that sit on the top here on on the deck, and uh, then that'll allow me to start the mast and the rigging. So uh, it looks like uh, things are speeding up a bit, and uh, uh, I, I should finish this in a month. Anyway, thanks for looking in. See you next time.